Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, uh, when I was telling Jamaicans that they are safer outside of Jamaica because the government do not want them there either. Some people is like, um, well, that this channel is on a, in a propaganda campaign against the government because I am working for the other political party. That means I'm working for the PMP LGBTQ plus party. But let me make this clear to all of my viewers and subscribers. I am not a political person. I am not here pushing any political agenda for either party. Because either party are not friends of the police. And I, although I am a former member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, I see myself as a police officer because when I say I see myself as a police officer, that means my thinking is of a police officer, a decent, ethical and honest police officer, not a thief in police officer. So whatever I'm saying, it's all about to bring back Jamaica to normalcy, where the crime rate is tolerable and people can move about freely without any hindrance or fear of, being get, of getting robbed, harm, maim, or even killed. So that's the reason why I keep telling Jamaicans who live in the diaspora that you're safer in the diaspora than in Jamaica. Because the things that you can do overseas, you cannot do it there in Jamaica. And for the, uh, you know, because in Jamaica, a majority of the Jamaican people are living in prison. Yes, a majority of the Jamaican people are living in prison. When I said prison, I said prison. Just like somebody who's at general penitentiary. Because your, your, your windows, your doors, your bathroom window, everywhere has to be grilled. And for maximum protection, you have to grill outside of your house and inside of your house to seal secure. So that's a prison life. You're not enjoying your community and your island where you live because of the parasites, because of the criminals and the terrorists that's, that's there. And they have more rights than the police officers and the citizens alike in, this, uh, in, in, in Jamaica. And the reason for this is that you have a lot of people there who are getting filthy rich from the criminals who are making crazy money. Because when you're there in Jamaica, as a returning resident, your chance of enjoying your, your retirement is slim to none. So those who want to go back there and think that they can retire in peace, that was like maybe 40 years ago. That's, you know, that's like when my father, that's, you know, that's um, when one of my aunt, um, grand aunts retired and returned to Jamaica and, you know, by our place uptown. And, you know, she and her husband, they lived there until, you know, one passed away and the other is still there. But they still have to have grill and their, you know, and their womb. Who wants to live like that? You don't want to live like that. You're not a, you're not a cage animal or you're in prison. You are supposed to live in a community where you're free. You're not supposed to be worrying about your safety. So now we're reading, um, we're you know, two elderly returning residents were robbed of a lice of firearm, a shotgun, and $300,000 in cash. Don't think that that's happening in a vacuum. You know? That is something that was planned. And you know, more or less, it's somebody who is close to them. But for this elderly couple, you know, sitting in the back of the yard at um, 12 you know, at midnight, that is just crazy. You can't do that in Jamaica. Even when I was younger and although I have my, you know, have my firearm that the government, I, I, I really sit in the back of my yard where I used to live. But when I was living in the country, you know, I would enjoy the outdoors because, you know, they know what time it is where I'm living because I wasn't the only one there that have gone. And so, you know, it's, it's just totally different. But for this elderly couple to be sitting outside, that's, that's just nonsense. You don't do that. 
you know, it's fortunate that they did not lose their life. So it says, uh, four men armed with guns enter their resident at Tarrington District, Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland on Monday morning. According to the police report, the 78-year-old 78 man and his 79-year-old wife were at home sitting in their backyard shortly after midnight when they were confronted by armed men wearing masks. But these men know them, that's why they have on masks. But you know, but for your returning resident and you have a place there, why you don't have the have on motion sensors light? Because even when I was living in Jamaica, you know, I have motion sensor light around my house, you know, so people never used to like walk to pa walk past in my house. That was back then before it even become popular. Yes, because and my motion sensor line, it have grill around it too. Because you don't want people to break it up because you know a criminal think. Motion even if a post moving come on, don't worry about your light because it's your safety. Because and make sure that inside of your house they cannot see because when the motion light comes on, you know, anyone who's walking, you know, it changes the dynamics of their eyesight. So it's hard for them to see inside of your house. You cannot be sitting outside and willy-nilly and think that everything is going to be fine. That is Jamaica. You cannot play games there. The thieves then reportedly tied up the elderly man and proceeded to rob him of his license .38 Simitan Western Revolver along with 12.38 rounds. His Remington 12-gauge shotgun along with five 12-gauge cartridges, cartridges both valued twenty nine seventy thousand dollars were also stolen. The men then ranks at the house and robbed them of cash amounting three hundred thousand dollars. The thieves later escaped through the grill at the side of the house, which was observed to be the point of entry by the police. Investigation around one. The only thing I can say is that you know happy that they did not kill them. Although you know there. Because you know Jamaican criminals are when they you know so the only reason why they did not kill um, the elderly couple is because somebody who was with them knew them personally and they did not want that on their conscience. Somebody who was there have a con have a little conscience, so they make sure to tell them that not to do them anything. You understand? So that's that's what happened. You cannot just, as a returning resident living in Jamaica or visiting Jamaica, you cannot trust anyone in Jamaica anymore because people's family have been setting them up in Jamaica for people to rob and kill them and take away their houses. And a lot of this has been going on in Jamaica. I had a cousin who built a house for his mother and father in Westmoreland. And both of them died last year. Months apart, my uncle and his wife and the house that he had built for his parents and the, after the mother's funeral <laughs> there was in no uncertain terms that they read the riot act to him my cousin yes and when I say read the riot act to him they were telling him that you know since his mother his parents they are no longer here there is no need for him to visit and come back to the house that he built or else. So this is what is happening in Jamaica where um, people migrated to, um, to a foreign land, work hard, um, build houses and there are family members who are planning to kill them to get the house and to get whatever um, valuables they have down here in Jamaica. Jamaica is a different place. Elderly residents returning to Jamaica, set up and robbed by gunmen, and it is sad. This did not happen in a vacuum. A family member, a friend, is involved in this robbery. Because somebody outside cannot know that this old man have a license firearm and a shotgun. Because they tied them up, you know. It is someone who knew them set them up. Because... Jamaican people have this, they have this attitude that they are entitled to whatever their family member have and it's theirs. And if they cannot get it, they must die. 
that's how these people think. So if you are a returning resident, returning to Jamaica, you cannot trust anyone there. I am telling you that. If you want to trust anyone there, be my guest. But you'll pay with your life. Because Jamaican people are some heartless. When I say heartless people, these people have no heart or any love inside of them. So you have to be careful when you're there. If this is the first time you subscribe to the channel, thanks. Like the video, share the video, and most of all, comment below. And there's a WhatsApp link in the description box you can click on to join and become a member. Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. And to all returning residents and visitors to Jamaica, you have to be careful. You cannot trust anyone, not even your blood relative. Those days are gone. It doesn't happen anymore. Peace. One love. Jamaica Young Police out.